Well, on this Juneteenth, we're introducing you to a Charleston family honoring a Charleston family honoring those who fought for their freedom by dedicating their lives to ensure justice continues. Alyssa Holmes sat down with this prominent Low Country family who has a lasting legacy. For nearly a century, the name Daniel Martin has been a big deal in Charleston. Now, with three generations of Daniel Martins, the legal dynasty continues. The youngest of the crew says at age five, he knew there was something special. It would always take us forever to leave because everyone would stop and want to talk and want to thank um, my dad or my granddad about you know such a good job they did with their case or they wanted some legal advice. Um, and I didn't really fully grasp the importance of, you know, their legacy and, and, you know, how much of an impact they had on the community, especially the black community in Charleston. But I, I sensed at that young age that something was, was different. The family patriarch, Daniel Martin Sr., says he didn't set out to become a lawyer. It was his brother's dream, a dream that was shattered when he was admitted to USC's law school, but then Governor Strom Thurmond rescinded the offer because of the color of his skin. There are so many people who have the great faith that the Supreme Court... But after hearing a speech from Thurgood Marshall, he knew that change was on the horizon. I decided then that I was going to go to law school uh, because number one, I, w I wanted to be like the good Marshall, and number two, I wanted to, um, even though I couldn't go to the University of South Carolina Law School, uh, I wanted to um, become a lawyer to uh, probably um, answer the dreams of my brother. He graduated from South Carolina State School of Law and worked with the Neighborhood Legal Assistance Program. Martin became the assistant solicitor of the Ninth Judicial Circuit in Charleston, the first black man to ever hold that position in the city's history, the second black man in the state history. Glad to see that uh, my son decides to follow me in uh, this profession. Each of the three men, exactly 30 years apart from each other, hold their family legacy close to their hearts, each with the same mission. To dispense justice, tempered with mercy to all who come before them. Fulfilled through different paths. Well, I didn't start off trying to be a judge. That was never my goal. I, I practiced in this office for 20 years before I even got on the bench. Uh, initially, what I wanted to do was really just try to um, be a lawyer for people who couldn't afford services that they might have to go get other places. Most of the people that I served were working class people, indigent people, um, and people who just needed some legal assistance and didn't know where to get that. Now, a family court judge, Daniel Danny Martin, finds it rewarding. Every day is a good day, even when I see situations that can be kind of depressing. At the end of it, I feel like if I can do something and make a contribution towards a good outcome, that I've done my job, and that's a good feeling. Though he has a number of accomplishments and achievements under his belt, he says one moment will always stand out. But really the most, the most impactful thing, I think, was me being able to um, be present when my son was sworn in. And his son is now a prosecutor at the same courthouse his grandfather made history. The best part of my day, or at least my court days, is going up to the fourth floor and seeing his portrait and realizing, you know, one, not everyone gets a portrait, and two, not everyone can have a grandson that gets to look at that portrait before he goes to court every day. A family rooted in freedom and justice. Alyssa Holmes, News 4.